Hi, I wanted to show you this tool called Ditto that helps you copy things in batches instead of one by one. And it, it's a really cool tool that I've found especially helpful when I'm taking multiple choice tests from a Word document, for example, and putting them into a learning management system. So that's just one example of a task. But what I'm going to be doing here is you see this window here. This has a multiple choice question. And over here is a form. And so what I'm supposed to do is take each of these items and put them each in their own text box. And this can be really tedious if you're doing copy and paste because you have to copy one line, come over here, paste it, go back, copy another one. So what Ditto does is it allows you to copy five times and then paste five times. Instead of copy, paste, copy, paste, and so on, you can just copy each item and then paste each item. I'll, I'll show you right now what I mean. So the first thing I'm going to do here in Word is I'm just going to turn off the numbering so that that doesn't come across in the uh, multiple choice question. So I've turned that off so there's no numbers or letters. And Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to copy that. So I'm just going to press Control C on the keyboard and you'll notice down here it shows up on my list of copied items. So I'm going to do the next to the next word, Control C. And I'm going to scroll up here. I'm going to get the next item, copy. And the next item, copy. And the next item, and I'm pressing Control C each time. And you'll notice because I went from bottom to top, now the last thing I copied is at the top of my list and that's the question and then these are the four answers so now I'm gonna go over to my question and the question text is where the first item is gonna go so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click in the box where I want the text and I'm gonna press Windows key 1 and you'll see it pasted that first item in there and then I'm going to come down to my first question item Windows key 2. I'm going to come down here Windows key 3 and Windows key 4 and then finally Windows key 5. So instead of going over here copying a line coming back going back and forth between those two windows all I had to do was select each of these items, copy each one, and then come over here and press Windows key and the number that corresponds to that item on the clipboard. Uh, this is just one example. You could, for example, if you had two questions, you could do two at a time, or by default it only does up to 20 items on the list, and you only have you know, 10 number keys, so really it's only helpful to do 10 items on the, the clipboard. You know, if I came back in here, say this is a different question, do copy, copy. You see how it, it, it builds those up, and whatever is the last item becomes the lowest number, I mean, the, big, the highest number. So, anyway, it's worth experimenting with. The icon for it down here looks like. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It's kind of crazy. But if you right click on that and choose options, there's all kinds of options. Uh, the ones that are important have to do with the keyboard shortcuts. So you'll see that Windows 1, paste item in position 1. These are all my shortcuts. I think they're the default ones. But you might want to look at that. Then on Quick Paste, uh, I set mine so the history starts at the top of the list so that whatever you copied last shows up up here. But I'll also post images of what my settings are in case you want to duplicate those. But hopefully this has been helpful. I'll tell you it saves me a ton of time and I would be sad not to have it. So anyway, there you go.